crowded history of these islands. Easter comes to Battersea Park in London in a blaze of sunshine and a skirl of the pipes. An old timer who hasn't seen the streets of London for a long, long time joins the parade. This ancient bus celebrates the 150th anniversary of the first horse-drawn omnibus service in London. They don't look built for comfort, but they did their duty. One of the old open-decker motor buses. The double-decker Routemaster first showed up in 1933. This one's dressed in the old-style livery. No change in style, though, for the Scotch Guards. The sunshine brings out the crowds, and they're loving it. The unusual Australian-type weather draws Rolf Harris and his didgeridoo to Battersea, but he's not interested in cameras. Thousands of blooms decorate the float from the Channel Island of Jersey. A prize-winning float from the Bulldog Carnival Club. It's an effort that has won seven prizes in West Country Carnival. The early hand pump fire engines have been carefully preserved by the Fire Service Preservation Group. These were the types that regularly went to blazes. Even the uniforms are genuine. Riders from the Veteran Cycle Club parade some old bone shakers of the last century. Even Austin cars of the 1920s have turned up. It's a way the members of the 750 Club have of celebrating their 40th anniversary. Using the Year of the Child as its theme, the Lewisham Play Leadership Service shows the importance of play in the life of children throughout the world. You can't keep a good Walt Disney character out of an Easter parade. Mickey himself makes a personal appearance, followed by the irrepressible Donald Duck. Walking tall for the kids of Battersea. The Wick Carnival Club presents the Lone Star State, where the guns are bigger and better than anything in the world. You can expect to see pretty well anything in Battersea Park's Easter Parade, and you usually do. Careful testing of runners and equipment before the start of the World Tobogganing Championship.